Hi friends, this is Pastor Harley from the Broadway Global Methodist Church. I'm reading out of the Gospels, Matthew chapter 4, and uh, in verse 18, While walking by the Sea of Galilee, Jesus saw two brothers, Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And he said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Immediately they left their nets and followed him. Now, it's interesting. We, we read this and we say, well, Jesus tells those fishermen to follow him. What not that what Jesus is supposed to do? We're, we're quite used to um, uh, religious figures in the Bible uh, getting a reaction of religious uh, uh, devotion or, or sentiment or engagement from the people around. But really, the people who are doing what you just expect them to do are Peter and his Simon and his, Simon Peter and his brother Andrew. They are casting their nets into the sea because, indeed, they were fishermen. You know, if they were bankers and they were throwing nets in the sea, you would assume they were on holiday. But they're casting their nets in the sea, doing what they're supposed to do. So one thing we see about Jesus is this is what Jesus is supposed to do. He's supposed to call us. In very many ways, he calls us out of just the ordinary, you know, story and course of our lives. There's nothing bad with being a fisherman. There's nothing bad with staying home with the children, nothing wrong with working, working this job or that job or being retired. But Jesus walks into our lives and says, follow me. And uh, we need to hear those words afresh. You know, there are still places in the world where people are hearing the gospel for the first time. And when they hear Jesus say, follow me, they know there are many actual journeys they will be taking for, on account of Jesus on foot, following him. So we need to take our lives and say, how am I following him? Have I let his call speak to my heart? If you listen closely to him, if you read his word and pray, you will be blessed today. Amen.